Good afternoon and good evening. This is Group One, and this is our presentation of emergency response. The group members are Isabella, Zoe, and Brian. The community we chose is Wagula, also known as Beswick. Beswick located on the north of Northern Territory. The distance between the closest city, Catherine, is 116 kilometers. Community Beswick is on the east bank of Waterhouse River, and the State Route 24 runs through Beswick. This is the map of Beswick, and this is the satellite image of it. The people who live in this community is Bagala people. Bagala is a clan of the Jawoin people, and Beswick is one of the communities of Jawoin. The population of Beswick is 531 by 2016. 95.7% is indigenous, and the male accounts for 46.4%, while female accounts for 53.6%. The dreaming is a key concept to indigenous people, and the Jawon people call the dreaming as Buru. Jawon people believe that everything is created during the dreaming. Creative beings give the land its form and life, and created the landscape, plants, animals, the first people and the language, also laws and rules that people should obey. There are figures who existed in the dreaming in Jawon culture. Blon. Blon rests in deep water. There will be lightning and floods if Blon is disturbed. People cannot speak to Blon. And the Jawon people do not fish in pools where Blon sits. When fishing close to these pools, they can only take a small portion of the fish caught and throw back the rest in order to appease Blon. Drinking water must not be taken from these deep pools, but rather from the shallow associate waters. Pregnant women and new initiates may not swim in Catherine River for fear of disturbing Blon. Buraya, also known as Kukabura, is the one who assists Jawon people in hunting and foraging. Bla. Jawon people believe that the land was created by the powerful ancestor Bla, with his two wives, the Ningalenji Lenji. He hunted across the land and in doing so transformed the landscape through his actions. In a number of places, Bla left his image as painting in rock shelters. Terrible sickness and disasters may result if Blah is disturbed. Jawon people regard Blah as the most important figure in their dreaming. Nagarenko Nagarenko taught Jawon people behavior and marriage relationships. Moiti is another important fact about Jawon culture. Jawon people believe everything in the world is a sign of moiety, and it forms one of the most important principles within Jawon society. The moieties, the Wa and the Elysia, and all the things associated with them bring balance to the natural and cultural world. Through a traditional marriage system, a child's moiety will be the same as his or her father, and opposite to his or her mother. Simply, a dwarf person should marry a Levija person. Under the Moities, there are further 16 social divisions, or skin, which is traditionally inherited from the mother and has a cycle which continues through several generations. It provides comparable inherited links between mother and children for other skin group. Under the skin, there are owners, Jinja, and Castilians, Chigai. Each skin group has a primary custodian looking after a relationship with another skin group in the opposite skin group circle. In Beswick, the main language spoken in the community are Creole and English, while older Javon people may speak Mayali and Rambaringa. These are Javon rock art, which relate to Bla. Nigamimi 
is a term for a particular type of human figure that has been found to have a wide distribution across the drawing lines. Around Bathwick, other art complexes were found. There are several things we should take into consideration when it comes to design a solution for emergency response. First is figures. People who live in Wagula is Bagala people, which is a clan of Javon people. The Bagala people share the same culture of Javon people. The dreaming figures blown is directly related to the rain and flood, and the Javon people avoid activities in deep water in order to prevent disturbing blown. Bla is one of the most important figures. He is related to illness and disaster. Javon people value the image on rock and is not allowed to disturb law. So the design of emergency response should show the respect to Blon and Blah and Javon people do. Another key concept in Javon society is moiety. Javon people believe that everything is a sign of moiety. Basically, the design should be in pairs or have two equal parts in one design to indicate the moiety. Languages the older Javon people speak native languages, while younger Javon people may not. There are different languages existing in community Basswick, so the text content should be written in different languages to prevent any misunderstanding and deliver the information effectively and efficiently. Last is the land. The land is important to Javon people as they believe the rock art and something else are evidence of Javon pride history. So the design should take the protection of this historical site into consideration. And next, Isabella will share some information about disasters. Thanks, Brian. Hello, everyone. My name is Isabella. That's the first I will introduce the two main reasons for the flood disaster in this area. The first reason is local top, uh, topography and the climate. Jawan is located on the plain and the residents live at the foot of the mountain near the north of the Catherine, Catherine River. And uh, the year in Jawan's calendar is divided into five seasons with the beginning and the duration of each season changing slightly from year to year. The five seasons are Joy Work, Bank Range, Madapar, John Cook, and Green. Every year from John Cook to Bank Range of the following year is the raining season here and the precipitation in near seas sharply. And uh, as shown in this the finger from 1996 to 2015, the average precipitation in these 20 years can reach uh, 1,500 millimeters. Since now, precipitation here can also reach uh, 650 to 1,200 millimeters. The never the rainy season, the amount of precipitation increased sharply and the rain washed down on the mountain. The rain will affect the residents of Jawai living at the foot of the mountain. And when the water of the Kathleen River source, the river water will also cause flooding to the residents of Jawai living nearby. And the sex, second uh, reason is special weather. Um, it, it's uh, La Nina. The La Nina phenomenon occur when the equatorial trade wind becomes stronger, changing the ocean currents and the, attracting deeper water from below. The increase the ocean temperature in the Western Pacific means that the area become more favorable for raising air, cloud development, and rainfall. As a result, there may be heavy rainfall in Northern Australia. In Northern Australia, the average rainfall in La Nina from December to March is 20% higher than the long-term average. 
um, the extent of vanilla increases the possibility of flooding. Um, and the next part is flora and uh, fauna. On the first picture, this red flower na is named um, Corongium Bachington Megraphyllus. Wow, it's a large leaved shrub of savanna and open forest of the northwest of Northern Territory, Australia. And uh, this crocodile is a saltwater crocodile. They live here along the river. They build nests along the river and do not violate each other. However, in the rainy season, after water level source, uh, they will follow the river into human um, territory and they are likely to attack the crowd. This spider is called uh, redback spider. Uh, it are very famous locally and throughout Australia. After being beaten by this spider, the wood will soon become red and swollen. Breathing will be difficult and you will die if you do not receive timely treatment. Next part, I will give you a precedent. Um, the 2010-11 La Nina event was one of the strongest on record. In North Australia, due to the impact of La Nina continuous rainfall in 2010, it can be seen from the map that the precipitation in Jawan areas reached the 10th level. The raining season of this year has greatly affected the lives of indigenous people in this community. And about this uh, flooding, uh, the government uh, uh, took a series of measures to help local residents from the early warning to the end of the flood. About the warning, um, the first point is the government issue flood warning through the television and radio. And the second point is government has issued the guide for flood prevention, instructing residents on how to evacuate and protect uh, property safety. During the flooding, um, also have uh, three points. The first point is um, keep listening the radio and get the official advice. The second point is remain in a safe part of the home. The third, a third point is keep in touch with the neighbors and help them if needed. About after flooding, uh, it's also have the three point. The third point is continue to listen to the radio and uh, continue to get official advice on the flood situation. It will help you to keep safety. And the second point is connect the insurance company to assess the claim for pro um, property damage. The third point is drink after ensuring the safety of the water source. Next part is impact the flooding. The first impact is traffic problem. Access, access to the indigenous community in Beswick has been cut off, affecting the evacuation of residents and the delivery of supplies. The second problem is safety problem. Crocodiles warn that they can enter areas when people live during the rain season, especially when the water is more than five meters deep. Frogs can also wash away snake and the local spiders of highly uh, venomous red back spider. They could be life uh, threatening to the communities in habitat. The next problem is hygiene issue. As well as snakes and the submerged object, there is also risk water brown illness from flooded uh, septis and the like. And the final part is about the solution design. Um, I think the regarding the design to help local originals solve the flood attack, we can start from three aspects. First of all, it's possible to design an early warning system, not just uh, 
broad, uh, broadcasting the early warning from TV and radio. The second point is that the um, drainage of the local buildings can be further improved and studied, as well as the cooperation with government and some institution to start the operation of the uh, drainage and the drainage problem will directly affect transportation and local material rescue. The third point is to uh, avoid harm is caused by wild animals to local residents, such as crocodile that enter human settlements with fraud and snakes and spiders in the water. Okay, that's all on my part. Next, I will uh, invite the Zoe to introduce her part. Next, I would like to introduce the government and other organizations to help the Northern Territory, especially the Beswick community. The government reminds the residents to pay attention to the following points. Firstly, stay away for flooded streams, river, streams, and waterway. Secondly, avoid travel into the water of unknown depths and current. In addition, starve children playing or near the flood water. Create your sandbag if there is flooding by use pillowcase and shopping bag filled with sand and place them around the doorway to protect your home. Finally, be careful of fallen power links. Uh, they are dangerous and should uh, always be treated as a leaf. Uh, like the picture, the picture shows Spacewake and the residents near the rain, uh, river being placed in temporary shelters by government uh, agency. First the picture, animal protection organization have also contributed to the uh, rescue of some family pets. Next picture, ch uh, children get food and help in emergency shelters. Staff and uh, uh, teacher at a local school did an outstanding job managing the evacuation shelter, which were set up at the school. Staff minimized the lost uh, education time caused by the school closure. 30 uh, houses in the tiny communities of Basewake were inundated by flood water after heavy wet season rain for on the east long weekend, causing the waterhouse river to rise significantly. This week were quickly cleaned up with the cooperation of the community, the government and the other organization. Analyze house and shops in the Basewake community were flooded but school and uh, uh, clinic were not affected. Work with the community and the housing authorities to clean up houses and transfer the uh, victims to emergency shelters set up in the school. Teachers have minimized the education losses and provide the temporary shelters for about 14, 40 re uh, residents. Next, I will show how the government not only have to help the Basewick community with the flood disaster, but also help the community with a um, series of complaints like calls during the COVID-19 and allied the result. Some com communities in the Northern Territory, include, uh, including this week have we experienced the flooding along with the other uh, crises such as the uh, foreign fire and uh, COVID-19. We choose to look at uh, this week community flood emergency and uh, other solution to similar disaster. The structure and approach used in the program is that in response to COVID-19, the government have partnered with the indigenous business 
and the local charities to deliver the five tons of food um, and the other essentials for the tile uh, northern, ter uh, northern territory community. Coast team uh, members have prepared a carry uh, package, which will include uh, uh, fresh and uh, tiny product, uh, product pizza, rice, and uh, breakfast uh, uh, cereals, 10,000 liters of water and uh, toilet uh, paper, uh, infant nappies, and uh, sanitary items will also be delivered. Allies, uh, as a local supermarket in Australia, calls with local charities to solve the problem of the shortage in a uh, remote area and the farmer crop failure caused by uh, COVID-19. There is not enough food in the remote area. Uh, Lodge takers company also pay a key role in the uh, donating the food. I think this solution is just uh, as effective as helping Basic deal with the food shortage caused by the flood through the cooperation of the big business and the charities. This measure not only solve the live problem of communities in the remote area, but also in increase the trust of the residents in the business and the government, which have in factor of social cohesion. Finally, the most proper shape solution for basic community was found by referring to the government research on flooding in other community in the Northern Territory. Flooding features around the Boromuna were determined by flood model and URBS uh, run of the routine hydrological model were developed for the river uh, catchment and uh, collaborated to record flood data and the three stream gauging station for nine historical flood events. A two floor to two dimensional hydraulic model was developed for river channel and uh, flood plan in the uh, vicinity of uh, township of uh, Boroluna and uh, collaborated to record flood data for five historical flood events. Analyze the state uh, conductor specific research on the flooding in the Boroluna community. Use of current uh, occurrence uh, return and the historical flood analyze data to determine flood feature. The URBS model is used to design flood floor, flood level, depth, sp speed, and range to predict the flood risk and uh, take preventive measure in the advance. The government can receive the flood um, currencies map in advance and uh, make a flood emergency plan. I think a URBS model technology can be used as a flood warming system for the base week, uh, community and other remote area. This can reduce the impact on communities and uh, better prevent flooding. That's all for our presentation. Thank you for listening.